project comes, I would say, out of uh, from my son Bruno, who's my oldest son. Uh, and Bruno is an awesome little dude. He likes wrestling, he likes music, uh, and he has CP, cerebral palsy. So he um, has kind of complex needs. Um, and uh, we wanted to do work with, uh, he's nonverbal too. Uh, so we wanted to do work with uh, other people that are non-verbal, uh, specifically adults. And so we started to work on different art making projects that engage that community. Um, so I think during the, you know, during the play that we're doing, what takes place on the stage is maybe, I guess, what happens in real life for us. And having to, say, interact with Dan and Christina and um, this how what's going on there like so it's just like you know what you would be say if you went to a bar or a park or wherever with another couple and you were exchanging experiences it's not your typical play scene by scene Humor is very important in this show. It lets the audience know that I am a person who isn't in constant misery. Yeah. A couple of comments that have stood out for me are people that have said, um, I thought I was compassionate and I thought I, I was, um, you know, a nice person and very open to everyone. And now I realize I'm still not seeing everyone I could see or I'm still have my biases in my head or make assumptions about people. I think that's true of a lot of people and that for me was, is a great compliment to the show because like I said we're not about, the show's not about pointing fingers saying you know you're bad because you don't know about this. You don't know, you don't know about disability until you're opened up into that world. <laughs> 